Friday or postal here. Uh, so Friday I took out the XP-58, my most flown plane on the North American server World of Warplanes. Today I'm taking out my second most flown plane. I think there's like 16 hours or so left of the discounts. Um, I really like the PADA. Um, a fun plane, right? Not necessarily the strongest plane at this tier. That being said, like so many American fighters, it's pretty well balanced. And what do I mean by that? Well, um, its easiest comparison is to a P-51H, which has great speed um, and reasonable maneuverability and great altitude performance. So this plane actually has slightly worse altitude performance and slightly worse maneuverability. But it makes up for that with having slightly better airspeed, definitely uh, better boostability, I guess we can say, since we've got a jet instead of a prop engine. And something that you don't see on the um, stats is the fact that the plane has, you know, centrally located machine guns. So these are the same machine guns that all the American machine guns, 50 caliber machine guns, were buffed uh, in the last few months. Actually, I guess it's been almost six months now. Uh, but they're centrally located on this plane, so it's easier, quotes around it, to get them on target. Uh, where on the P-51H, since they're on the wings, like you need to have the, the enemy be at a specific distance. Let's go ahead and put this plane to good use, though. I really, really enjoy the plane. Obviously, it's Tier 8 Premium, so there's... Oh! Oh! All the perks that come with that. Oh, hello, sir. I'm um, sure wish I didn't get my engine knocked out, but oh well. Ah, uh, somebody else got the kill, but that's fine. Does this guy keep on attacking me. I keep thinking it's the um, F-94D. What? Not allowed to outturn me, sir. I mean, I know a J-21 is ridiculously maneuverable, but... And I'm getting picked apart, aren't I? Destroyed by fire. Um, like American fighters, you really don't want to get in those situations where you're stuck um, dogfighting multiple planes. One on one, perfectly fine. One uh, v two, in a pinch. Uh, however, if you are, I guess I'm going to be going down here. If you're in a one versus three or four, like I was there, um, you're going to probably end up regretting it. What I like about the plane, though, is Although it's not the best in any category, it's really well balanced. I can get going where I need to go. For the most part, I can uh, outturn. I can outturn any two lines, but I can outturn uh, the other altitude fighters. Speaking of altitude, let's get some altitude here. Uh, we are going to lose this if we don't pick up our pace. Shame on me for getting stuck in a little bit there without really paying enough attention. Yak nine U. It's aiming too far out, and now I'm going too fast. Well, sh shoot. Hey, is this guy again? How you doing? and knock out stuff uh, can I okay, good. Just hitting the air brakes there quite a bit so that way my um, plane could get its guns on target stay on target get our boost on here I do play with a throttle quite a bit in this plane boost brake boost brake depending on the circumstance Oh crap, Yak 9U. Even against a tier 8. Didn't mean to crash into him. Let's see if I can get uh, get some repairs. Get some wrench! Hmm. Oh, got my wrench. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's go. I guess uh, we're, so we're going to need to be capturing this stuff, huh? Hoping to play some defense, but no, no es bueno. No defense for you, Postal. Um, let's 
giddy to go. Fairly confident that uh, I'll still be able to win this battle. Oh, hello. Go. Perfect. dawned on me that I thought one of these was an F-94D, but we're in a tier 8 battle, so why would we have a friggin' Starfire on the enemy team? Who knows? This Postal's brain sucks sometimes. Got my engine knocked out again? Weird. Don't typically have this issue. Probably should not have gone up and over there. Hey! But had just enough speed to actually complete the maneuver. Uh, and yeah, and we've completely turned this battle around. Uh, they still haven't captured the um, airbase up north, and neither have we. Um, and I'm actually to the point where I don't even really want to push too much, but we're going to push. P32. Ah! Did I get my engine knocked out again? What the what? What kind of life am I living? Let's angle down so we can keep some airspeed here. Apparently the engine is more fragile than I remember it being. There we go. B-32. I wouldn't actually go for a B-32, but there's other people going for him, and he's on precariously low health. So we're going to take advantage of that. Looks like I sent, set the F-7F on fire. I did. Um, let's head on over to this garrison. We're four sectors to none. So I'm really not stressing out, even though we're just barely up on points. Uh, squall line, though, so we definitely don't want to be doing anything stupid. At least not too stupid. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pancake if I can. It's probably outside, yeah, he's definitely outside his altitude bracket. Spray him down. I feel like the bots sometimes go towards the sun just to mess with my eyes. Higher than I really want to be, to be honest. Hopefully nothing uh, too crazy will come after me. Oh, the ME-209's back there. That is the too crazy I'm talking about. That is better altitude performance than I've got, I believe. Oh, but he's... Dead? Never mind. Let's see what we can do versus a full health B-32. Not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. Got my engine knocked out again. Got an ace, though. Um, I, I've, I've, I'm flabbergasted is the word I'm going to use uh, for the, the complete fragility of my engine in this particular battle. Way to go. Victory is um, I don't want to go for the first guy. Let's go for the second guy. Hello, so not crash into the ground. Do I have time? Just trying to make sure I've got enough time to actually. The battle's not gonna end, it's basically what I'm gonna go. This F7F is the last dude, huh? Oh, he's definitely outside his altitude bracket. Oh, he's dead. Well, pretty darn good game anyway, right? Uh, got a Marseille, got an ace, got 18,000. Let's head on back. 
All right, so we were able to do pretty darn well there. Got a Marseille, got an Ace, got a Nakamatsu. I really didn't feel like I pushed the limits on the plane. Honestly, I don't feel like I did anything special in that battle. Um, and I even made that mistake of getting into a dogfight with three or maybe four planes, right? Uh, but you can see why, from my playstyle, I really enjoy this plane. It really fits my playstyle. I was doing a lot of attacking there because at first I thought we were going to be, you know, me dying. I thought was going to screw everything up. But 22 kills, 18,000 personal points, six sectors captured. One thing that that um, is kind of underappreciated about a plane like this is it does have the speed ability to get where you need to go. If you need to get to a sector and capture it, or need to get to a sector and defend it, P80 uh, can be built in that kind of manner. I've personally built my plane uh, with a kind of balanced build approach and another thing that i really like about the pada is well the pilot setup is going to be very similar uh, to the f86 setup and that's why i've got my f86 pilot in here uh, in fact i think i've got almost everything copied over um, equipment wise as well so let's take a quick look at the equipment setup on the pada and remember yeah i think you've only got about 16 hours left of, of the discounts going on so if this is a plane that you want to take advantage of uh, make take advantage of it soon i have this plane specialized so keep that in mind it's one of my planes that i've got ultimate equipment on in fact although i haven't buffed it all the way up to the top um, it is uh, ultimate equipment but i've gone with a balanced setup on my equipment let's just start with the easy one the gun um, gyroscopic sight more accuracy on the guns uh, certainly not a bad thing Argument could certainly be made for something like the G-Suit or radio equipment. Um, I wouldn't mind experimenting with those two, two equipment slots, but right now I'm just tried and true gyroscopic sight. As far as the other equipment is concerned, I've got two items for maneuverability in the lightweight wing frame and the lightweight power unit. And then I have two items for speed in the polished skin and the uprated engine. I would not recommend getting the... Um, Injection boost system because this is a fighter its airspeed uh, boost is only eight seconds if you reduce that down to six seconds It's not really worth it in my opinion even if that six seconds boost is uh, You know a better a boost than eight seconds boost um, as far as like, you know, the, the acceleration is concerned having one or two seconds worth of boost in a plane like this is actually really helpful. And so I'd rather use upgraded engine than injection boost system. I'll typically use the injection boost system on a plane that has um, seconds to spare of boost, if that makes sense. But having this two maneuverability items and two speed items really sets it up for a balanced uh, approach. You can see my overall airspeed is 74, maneuverability 71, altitude 64. And that just allows you to kind of, what do you need to do? Obviously, again, you're not going to outmaneuver the most maneuverable planes. And you're probably not going to outspeed a lot of the planes. But you're going to have, uh, I shouldn't say a lot of planes. You're not going to outspeed the speediest of the planes. But you're going to have, you're going to be in the high end of speed threshold. You're going to be in the high end of maneuverability threshold for this tier. And, and so um, you can kind of jack of all trades, master of none type situation. My consumables. Um, after this battle and getting my engine knocked out, I don't know, five times I think it was, I might change this up. Uh, for my engine, I actually have improved mixture control instead of manual engine restart. For most people, that's going to be the wrong choice. Even when I, I don't get this engine knocked out all that often, knock on wood, this battle it got knocked out quite a bit. But even even if um, you know it was a normal battle where I might get it only knocked out once, for most pilots... The, once you specialize the plane, the engine restart is probably the better of the two consumables. I've gone all in. Um, you know, I understand the repercussions of my decision, but this is going to help with my airspeed a little bit. Pneumatic control assist is a must. You're in a fighter. Sometimes you're going to get stuck into a dogfight that you didn't mean to get stuck into. Pneumatic control assist can save you in those situations. Or just get your guns on target a little quicker and hopefully kill the plane that, that's about to kill you. I put a first aid package on here. This plane never catches on fire. Careful what you say, Postal. But it literally never catches on fire. Um, putting a fire uh, fire extinguisher on here just never made sense to me. So first aid package to get my pilot back in uh, is the way to go. I put universal ammo on here because, you know, why not, I guess. Um, no need for, for gold ammo, but if you've got it and you want to toss it on here, feel free to. 
A uh, quick update here on the pilot. So the F86 pilot, again, it's completely same setup that I have on my F86 and the P80 FJ1. Uh, for that matter, the P51H, they're all basically the same setup. Same setup on the equipment, you know, on my equipment anyway, for the most part. Um, same setup as far as the pilot is concerned. Marksman 2 is not a necessity. It might be something that I eventually get, but it's not something that I desperately need. When you have uh, machine guns um, and they're all centrally located, like the accuracy isn't really an issue. It's the, uh, you know, the rate of fire and... Um, the other abilities that really make a difference. I've gone ahead and put um, Engine Guru 1 on. My, if As far as like my first six points are concerned on a plane like this, I would take Marksman 1 and I would probably go with Aerodynamics Expert and Aerobatics Expert. That's going to give you some more maneuverability. It's also going to improve your speed equipment items. Um, that would be my first six points that I would put on this this particular pilot or this particular plane. Um, this is my 12-point pilot, my only 12-point pilot. So Engine Guru I did put on here um, just because I had two points to use. Uh, one that, that I do recommend on a plane like this is Evasive Target. So reduces damage received and chance of receiving critical damage and pilot injuries by 25% while you're actively maneuvering. So any plane that, that has the potential to be in a dogfight so basically your medium maneuverability and, and better um, evasive target is actually quite a helpful um, skill point. Uh, you may have noticed it pop up, that little squiggly arrow pop up when I was in the middle of some dogfights. And that can really help. Obviously it didn't help with getting my engine knocked out this particular battle, but I have noticed some differences on my ability to survive to survive a little bit. And this is a survivability skill. So I'm using my survivability as a skill rather than as an equipment slot. It allows me to make my plane even stronger and allow my pilot to build, uh, to buff up the survivability of the plane itself. So I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions about that, um, or for that matter, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or hop in my Discord, which is up uh, there. <laughs> uh, obviously, I've got a new setup on my uh, recording software. So, yeah, PADA. I, uh, like I said, when it, when it first came into, when I first started playing the game, PADA was not readily available. It was not something you could just get on a whim. Um, they've added it, permanently added it. It's available in the tech tree for gold. Uh, it's available in the, um, uh, the, the normal uh, premium shop. So you can feel free to get it there as well if you want it. Um, you've got to like this kind of style though. Remember, you're not going to outmaneuver everybody. You got to know who you're going to outmaneuver and you got to know who you're going to outspeed. It's 50 caliber machine guns. Not everybody likes that. So make sure you're aware of that. Don't expect to just hop in this plane not knowing how, uh, you know, those capabilities and not knowing um, how different planes interact with each other and expect to succeed in this plane. You do need some basic knowledge of the game. Um, and to be honest, if you're close to getting a vampire, Vampire is a free tier 8 premium uh, that is very similar to this plane. Well, that's that's not completely true, but has relatively similar play styles. Um, Vampire F1 here. Let's put our put our Swift pilot in here. There we go. Um, worst maneuverability. With the setup I've got, but I haven't maxed out the maneuverability yet. Um, I probably want to put... Uh, yeah, why do I have airspeed so high on this? Anyway, definitely worse altitude performance. Technically better guns because you have four 20mm cannons. Um, but the similarities are so... Are, are It's so close that because this one is a plane that you can get for, for free, if you're able to grind this plane out, if you don't mind the time, because it will take time to get this plane... Here's a completely free tier 8 premium fighter. Very, very good tier 8 premium fighter. 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 Um, but it's British. And if you want American. And if you don't mind the 50 cals. And you can't go wrong with PADA. One of my favorites in the game. Second most flown plane in the game. And I hope you enjoyed this battle. I hope you enjoyed the, the quick review on it. I hope you enjoy having a good day. I will uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.